How's it going everybody? So a couple of weeks ago, I showed you guys how to make this. This is a dice tray, and I showed you how to make this with limited tools. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you the finished product still because it's still in its uh, pre-aged state. In about a year, all of this green is going to be turning into kind of a darker walnut type color. And so it's really difficult because I'd love to be able to show you the final piece, so maybe in a year or two from now, I'll show you an update of that piece. Uh, but to match that, today I decided I'm going to be building oak. And this actually is an idea that came from one of my subscribers. So if you have any ideas of what you think I should be building next, go ahead and put it down in the description because I do read those ideas. I very much appreciate those ideas of things you guys want to see me build. But this idea today came from Christopher. So thank you, Christopher. Anyway, what I'm building is a dice tower. And to match that future walnut look, I actually went out and bought some actual walnut. Now, I know that because I'm going to be making this also with limited tools, I wanted to get something that showed a little bit of character on the side of the piece because I'm not gonna have that many features in the piece. I have made a dice tower in the past and I've made it more complicated to kind of give me that depth, but because this piece is gonna have flat walls, I wanted something with a little bit more character and I found this beautiful piece of walnut. I got a couple of them here. So when this piece is fully done, it is going to look amazing. And I also have one more idea for the end of the project that I'm really excited about because I think it's going to give it a bit more of an X factor, uh, something to make the project just stand out and become a little bit more interesting. And that's something I've been trying to learn to do more often, more recently with some of my projects, is to try and add something at the end of the project that just gives it a little bit more interest to the piece. And hopefully it looks good when I'm done because in my head it looks awesome, but that's how it always is. Uh, actually, I think you've actually already seen it in the thumbnail, haven't you? I think I, I think I probably put it in the thumbnail, didn't I? Did it look good? Is it, is it good? Because I don't know yet. I'm hoping it works out. There we go. So let's take this on over to the vise and we'll get these cut. So I'm going to go ahead and just put this in the vise like this. And then we're going to be doing basically the same thing that I've always done in the past. We're just gonna go ahead and start at the top and we're just gonna follow the line straight down. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, thank God that one is done. I've been listening to a YouTube ad for like a minute and a half. And if you need this to be extra flat, Come back with something like a 120, and as long as you're careful, you can flatten this 100% with something like a sanding block. There we go. That should be laser flat already. Oh yeah, that is 100% flat. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish flattening all of these pieces, and then I will get right back to you. Oh man, look at this. I love the look of this wood. This is the this is the sap wood here, and this is all heartwood. Oh, it's so pretty. It's got a really interesting purple to it. I don't know if that's coming up on camera, but it's got like this purple hue to it that I was not expecting. So that's very interesting. So basically what I want to do now is this is going to be the top of our tower. I'm going to make it look a bit more like a classic tower. And let's just say we'll try to make it sort of like this. So this is going to be my waist, and this is going to be my waist. I'm going to make a quick aesthetic decision here, and I'm going to be cutting just to the left of this line, uh, because I want this space to be just a bit wider than what I actually marked it as. But that's kind of the fun thing about doing this by hand. This is going to be my template piece, and I know I can see it'll be more aesthetically pleasing if I shorten this brick on the left just a little bit. You know, it's funny, I would normally run over to the scroll saw real quick and just cut this out really quick using the scroll saw, and there's a lot of interesting methods I could use with that. But I'm actually having such a fun time with the hand tools, I'm going to finish this off with hand tools. You know, doing things with machine tools is really interesting, and it's really quick, and it's kind of fun, but at the same time, you don't get that meditative process that you get with hand tools. I don't know, it's just, I enjoy the process so much more when I do it by hand. It does take a little longer, sometimes, but it's only about maybe 10% longer to do things by hand. This is my template that I'm gonna be using. We're just gonna get the width and the depth, and we're just gonna match them all up. Thank you. 
I've spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to design these projects in a way that's interesting to look at, and I've always ended up wishing I'd put in a little extra effort into each project. Right now what I'm doing is I'm adding a few windows and a main door to the tower, and I could have easily left those out, but I think the project would have been too simple that way. The goal in every project is to find that X factor, something that sets the project apart from everything else. Okay, so I got my two windows cut, and they are right here. I'm gonna use them both as spacers for a second because I need to get the width of this. Uh, so I'm gonna cut this down basically to this. I don't know if this is gonna be my final piece or not. This is just a piece of scrap that I have. And basically this is gonna sit at an angle like this. Now because this is only quarter inch material that I'm working with, I'm a little worried that because I'm gonna be kind of gluing these together in this kind of an orientation, there's gonna be a lot of leverage on these joints. And so I wanna try and reinforce these joints as much as possible. So I'm gonna do that in a couple of ways. One of the ways is I'm going to add a lot of shear strength with these diagonal pieces, and the other is I'm gonna add a little bit more of a glue surface by making a few triangles that these are going to sit onto. And then I also wanna to try to avoid this window. One of the things I was thinking about is if I put this ramp at the wrong spot, I might end up accidentally kicking some of the dice into the window and I don't want to do that. But I also need to leave enough space on the back end for the dice to come through because this is going to take two ramps. And I think that's going to look kind of cool because if you look through the window, it's going to look kind of dark like a castle would. And I think that's going to look pretty cool. Okay, so I'm finally almost done with this project. All I have left to do is finish the glue up, install the ramps, I have to sand everything flush, and then I can finally put on all of the linseed oil. Oh, and I forgot the last step. Then I get to add the last piece of flair that makes this project really jump out and come alive. This is what I've been really excited about. I guess there's really not much to explain other than that, so enjoy this overly dramatic end sequence. <laughs> Hey, thanks everybody for watching. I thoroughly enjoyed this project. I haven't had a chance to work with walnut in a while and I'm so glad I found this stuff because I only spent probably about 20 bucks on the wood so that really came together. Can you tell which part was my favorite part? I love the dire wolf. I found this thing on Amazon. There's also a dragon and a bunch of other animals and emblems and things you can buy. I think this is technically a hood ornament. I'm not really sure. I'll put a link to this guy down in the description so you can go check him out. But there are, just just go check out Amazon. There are all kinds of cool things like this that you can add. I had a lot of other options uh, as well as this guy that I could have added to this thing and it would have turned out completely different. So sometimes it's just that one piece of flair that can tie a whole piece together. So what do you think? Good project? Bad? Anything you would change? I'd love to know if there's anything that you would do differently. Also, if you have any projects you want to see me do in the future, just go ahead and put them down in the description and I will be reading those. I'd love to hear that kind of thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch y'all next time.